Hello and welcome to Radiant Station. This is the second part of our tutorial where we are going to learn how to create planets and star fields. Of course, the first part is where we already covered how to create this amazing spaceship. Star field and planets are very easy to model and straight into Blender. The star field as well as let's just turn on our shortcut keys for now. Okay and this is the star field that you see here which we will be creating let's head straight into the shading tab change this to world and this is the setup that you will see these two nodes only background and the world output if i remove this a boring gray background this is what you will get but don't worry we are going to create with four simple nodes an amazing space or a star field now let's start bringing in our color ramp secondly let's bring in the noise texture which is going to give the details to second and third one is our mapping node oops let's undo that let's create a bit of a distance between the nodes and last but not the least the texture coordinate now let's connect the object to vector here vector to vector let's clean up a little bit of our nodes let's bring this closer now let's connect factor to factor and immediately when I connect the color you can see this is how it's supposed to look because the scale has not been increased straight away jumping into the scale now with this we can alter how many stars do we need in our space if you prefer less of the stars in your star field you can play around with this setting and as simple as that your star field is ready now let's jump into our planet into the shadings tab of course change this to the object and a simple setup of our nodes which you can see here now let's bring in a UV sphere let's scale this up so that we can see its, its surface now of course it's a bit edgy but no need to worry we will be fixing that as well now let's bring in the sun lamp in case if your planet is not emitting Let's just add in a new texture to this. Of course, this is our base color of our UV sphere. We'll be adding in a color ramp. And then we'll be adding in our noise texture. Let's connect the factor to factor. Let's connect color to emission. have it we'll be playing around with the emission strength as well and for now let's just see the color ramp immediately we are getting some beautiful textures I've just added a subdivision surface and shade smooth now roughness max color bring it down to something of red tone because I want it to be a red planet emission as well strength up a bit scale you can see play around with the settings and it gives you a more natural look of a planet now let's duplicate this add in a mixed texture mixed shader 
duplicate these three nodes and add in a slight variation to give a cloud or an atmosphere effect of that planet of course let's bring down the strength of the emission let's change the scale slightly so that it's not sitting on the exact same position and these settings you can even change for a different shape being generated of so to say the mask and play around slightly with the settings so that you don't go too overboard slight variation should be good enough playing around with the scale makes the most significant changes and there you have it your planet thank you for watching stay tuned doodles